Hi, welcome back to my channel. Today, I will be discussing an incredibly important and informative topic with you, the stages of labor. Whether you're an expectant parent, a birth professional, or simply curious about the miracle of childbirth, this video will guide you through the different stages of labor. So, let's get started. Before we dive into the stages of labor, it's crucial to understand that every birth experience is unique, and no two labors are exactly the same. However, we can identify some common patterns and stages that many women go through during the labor process. These stages are divided into three main phases, the early labor, active labor, and the final stage of childbirth. Let's explore each stage in detail. Stage 1, Early Labor. The first stage of labor, known as early labor, is the longest and most unpredictable phase. During this phase, you may experience some signs that labor is approaching. These signs can include the release of the mucus plug, irregular contractions, and a bloody show. It begins with the onset of irregular contractions and ends when the cervix is around 3 to 4 centimeters dilated. Early labor can last anywhere from a few hours to a couple of days, depending on various factors. During this phase, it's important to stay at home and try to relax. You can take this time to practice your breathing exercises, listen to soothing music, or take warm showers to help manage any discomfort. It's crucial to conserve your energy and stay hydrated by drinking fluids and eating light, nourishing snacks. It's also helpful to keep track of your contractions by timing their frequency, duration, and intensity. You can use a smartphone app or a simple stopwatch to do this. Once your contractions become regular, lasting around 30 to 60 seconds and occurring about every 5 minutes, it's a good indication that you're entering the active phase of labor. Stage 2, Active Labor. Moving on to the second stage of labor, which is active labor. This phase begins when the cervix is around 6 cm dilated and continues until it reaches 10 cm. Active labor is characterized by stronger and more frequent contractions, usually lasting about 60 to 90 seconds and occurring every 3 to 5 minutes. During active labor, it's essential to have a support person, such as your partner or a doula, by your side. They can provide comfort measures like massage, counter pressure, and help you find comfortable positions to cope with the increasing intensity of contractions. Changing positions frequently, such as walking, squatting, or using a birthing ball, can also help alleviate discomfort and encourage progress. As your cervix continues to dilate, you may experience what is commonly known as the transition phase. This phase is often intense, with contractions coming closer together and feeling more powerful. It's not uncommon to feel exhausted, irritable, or overwhelmed during this phase. Remember that this is a normal part of the labor process, and with the support of your birth team, you can find the strength to keep going. Eventually, you'll reach a point when your cervix is fully dilated, and you'll feel an overwhelming urge to push. This is often accompanied by a sensation of rectal pressure. It's important to follow your body's cues and work with your healthcare provider or midwife to push effectively and safely. Stage 3, the final stage. Now, we arrive at the third and final stage of labor, which involves the birth of your baby and the delivery of the placenta. This stage typically lasts around 5 to 30 minutes after your baby's arrival. Once your baby's head crowns, you may feel a stretching or burning sensation. This is known as the ring of fire. It's important to communicate this sensation to your healthcare provider, who will guide you on when and how to push effectively, allowing your baby's head and shoulders to be borne gently. Once your baby is fully delivered, you'll experience a profound sense of relief and joy as you hold your little one in your arms for the first time. Skin-to-skin -skin contact is encouraged during this precious bonding time, as it helps regulate your baby's body temperature, promotes breastfeeding, and deepens the connection between you and your newborn. Shortly after the birth of your baby, the third stage of labor continues with the delivery of the placenta. This stage is relatively short, usually lasting around 5 to 30 minutes after your baby's arrival. Once your baby is born, you may continue to have mild contractions, which help detach the placenta from the uterine wall. Your healthcare provider will closely monitor this process and ensure that the entire placenta is safely delivered. They may administer medications, such as pitocin, 
to assist in the contraction of the uterus or use gentle traction to assist in its removal and reduce the risk of excessive bleeding. To deliver the placenta, you may be asked to give a gentle push or to continue breastfeeding your baby. Breastfeeding stimulates the release of oxytocin, a hormone that helps the uterus contract and expel the placenta. Your healthcare provider will examine the placenta to ensure it's intact and that no fragments remain inside the uterus. After the placenta is delivered, your healthcare provider may check for any tears or lacerations in the birth canal and perineum. If necessary, they will perform any required stitches, known as sutures, to promote healing. It's important to note that the moments following the birth of your baby and the delivery of the placenta are a critical time for bonding, initiating breastfeeding, and enjoying skin-to-skin -skin contact. This period is often referred to as the golden hour, and it provides a precious opportunity for you and your baby to establish a strong connection and for your baby to adjust to life outside the womb. Finally, congratulations! You have successfully gone through the three stages of labor and welcomed your baby into the world. Remember that the recovery process after childbirth varies for each individual, and it's important to listen to your body's needs, rest, and seek support as you embark on this new chapter of parenthood. And there you have it, a detailed breakdown of the three stages of labor. Remember, while we have provided a general overview, every birth experience is unique, and it's essential to discuss your specific situation with your healthcare provider or midwife. Thank you for joining me today and I wish you a safe and empowering birthing experience. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more informative videos.